You know, here we are in Iceland. World's strongest every man. Tiniest guy in the whole country, by far, women included. And I figure, if I'm gonna get strong and big and become a YouTube star, especially if I have Iron Man Magazine and Nutribio and Generation Iron backing me, I gotta lift with one strong son of a bitch. And I figure that if I come to this gym, the strongest gym in Iceland, I'll probably find one. So, let's go inside and see what we can find. Oh man! Oh god, please no! Oh Jesus! Reykjavik, Iceland, Thor's Power Gym, world's strongest everyman. I just so happened to run into Iceland's strongest man, as of this year by the way, so he's currently Iceland's strongest man, which means I'm about to be made to look like a fool. Everybody, this is my good friend now, Stefan. Hey guys. As you can tell, pound for pound leverage and height, it's a little bit different. But that's all right, we're gonna make it up in post, don't worry about it. So, today we're gonna start out with our bag over bar, yeah? Yeah, my special, like, this is my best event by far. I can't wait to be so, made to look like a fool. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so what we wanna start with, this is gonna be, like, it's gonna feel easy. Okay. So, for what I want you to do, is stand close to the wall. So we're focusing, is anyone up there? Anyone hit anyone? Ah, this one. But this is, I just wanna let you guys know, the strongest men in the world come from here and they're just tossing it over and just hoping nobody's up there, so. That's not that high though. Well, wait, wait till I throw the bag and before you say it's not that high. And this, this probably won't kill anyone. Okay, cool, probably. It's good to know it yeah. probably won't kill anyone. Just maim someone. All right. Well, you know, yeah. it builds character, it builds character. For sure. <laughs> the thing you want to do with this, is, the way I do it, I just go like this, one, and I throw. But for most people, they do like... Build the momentum? Yes. Do this two or three times. But the most common mistake is doing this. And I just did this. that. I just did that. You don't want that, because that kills the momentum of the bag. So keep the pendulum far. So you're not, you don't want to like reach further than this. Okay. Just about like the middle of your stomach. Okay. That's the best spot to put. And then you go deep. And then when you're ready, you let it go. Ne nearly hit the skylight. Let's see how close I come to that. This should be fun. First attempt. I'm way too far away from that. You get a step closer. No, get it closer to me. Oh, okay. A little closer, because with this sort of weight, less, less sand in the bag, you can more focus on throwing. Oh, okay. As the weight gets higher, it gets harder to throw behind your back. Okay. So, it's going to be fine when you get this. Okay. That close. So, we have some things to work on. Especially when you do this, the bag is it's going like this. Too floppy, too yes. floppy. So, it, like, do shorter movements in the Short. beginning. Shorter is my specialty. Yes. So, do it like that. Just feel the motion. And then when you go reach through, and you follow through. Yeah. Okay. And when you re release the bag, you're releasing here. Right in front yeah. of the head. You're not releasing it here. Oh, I left it too early. Yeah. Okay. As soon as you go up above your, bed, above your head, then you let go. Let too early. Okay. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. thing it's doing a backflip so that's, that's yeah that's the explosive you want to like imagine you're going in a backflip oh. Oh, it especially works if you're like quite an explosive athlete because I come like from a background of basketball oh, I saw that. so I'm very used to like just go one motion so I'm not into all this going twice but some people have to do it so one and done it is I'll try that it's just that easy. You can do it just like that. One and done. 
Yeah. Hey! It's just that easy. <laughs> you can do it. One and done. I gotta do it like you. All right. Uh, what's the heaviest one? Move to the heaviest one next. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, here, Kaya? You tried to kill me. Yeah. That's an honest choice. That's good. <laughs> Which one's it? Thirty kilo? Uh, I've like put more weight in this, so this is thirty-five now. Okay, so that's about yeah. It's just shy of seventy-three yeah. pounds. Yeah. But yeah. it's gonna pull my arms out of the sockets. <laughs> So, oh, oh, it's so heavy, dude. Yeah. Even just getting it overhead would be a pain. Yeah. Let's see how high this goes. Ah! Did I make it? Did I get it? Was it you, got close? It, you got it above your head. That's a, that's a milestone, that's not, right? PR. It's a goal. It's a PR. It's a PR. It's a PR. It's a PR. Fantastic, dude. Yeah. Fantastic. Let's go. I, I, I managed to get one over bar. Yeah. That's a PR to begin with. So now we're going to do some conventional stuff. Uh, what's next? You said circus dumbbell? I think we're doing the log first. Log first. Yeah. If a log, you have to wear short shorts. That's, that's a rule. Rule of strong man. You roll it up. It looks better for you because you have 10 legs. I don't. This <laughs> is 10. <tanned. laughs> Too. All right, what's the base weight here? So this is 60 kilos. 120, okay. Yeah. okay. Am I short short enough? <laughs> Roll it up. There we go. <clears throat> One more. more. Pick it up. Sit down. Roll. There we go. It's easy. Yeah. See, I like this. This doesn't make me look like a fool. I'll jump to 185 pretty quick. This is normal for strong man. We don't know pounds. That's okay. Sorry. It's uh. What'd you say, 60, 80, 85 kilos, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right. When you think about it, we, 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 like, we count in colors. Every, okay, so we've got two greens and a long black. Yeah. <laughs> See, I thought my Viper press would look cool, and then I saw him do it, and now it looks bad. It's, it's bad. You got this. Come on, east away. Okay. Ah. <clears throat> I to get my bearings under that. The clean is all good. Okay. But as soon as you get it to the chest, your elbows you start like from here. We need to get them up higher. So we need that like flex in the upper back and you're looking straight up. Okay. Because the same thing with, once with a bar, like Olympic lifting, it rests here yeah. and you can look forward, you can breathe. With this, you're looking up and I have to breathe with it. So all my focus is on my like, upper back and chest and not to drop my elbows. Elbows up. So I breathe with it here. My legs a little wider than shoulder width. And then I go slow down on my knees because if you do this, you drop, the last gonna drop with it. Oh, okay. So I go slow down and then I explode up. Because okay. if, if you can keep the core solid, elbows up, that's the most important thing in life. Okay? Matt Mills, I know you told me the same thing, but I'm gonna try now. Oh, gotcha, alright, my chin. And then, and you explode up. Elbows out, Dan. <laughs> Sit down, it's good grip. Way better, way better. That's easy. That felt a lot easier. 
I, have, I catch my breath when it sits mm -hmm. too low. You can't yeah. breathe. Once it's up here, I went and then was able to press it. The lights didn't even go out. No. That's the difference like, with the lock. Most people, they like that lift it. They get one good breath, yeah. sit down and roll it, just to keep the tension. Yeah. But especially guys with a lot of explosive power, we can't keep it on the chest because right. we're just choking. Yeah, that's exactly it. And you, like, you have to learn, teach yourself how to breathe with that weight on your chest so it doesn't like drop in front of you. And also, like, when you get it here, you stand like this to press it. Yeah. I would recommend starting from here and then going. Oh, like a splitter. Because if you do this from the beginning, you can hurt your hips. Okay. Because this is not a balance. Now, I, I always wonder why I had tight, hip, tight hips. Yeah. There you go. So, yeah. underneath of it. Okay, split jerk time. Let's go. Right there. Yep. <clears throat> Too much power. <laughs> I'm, I just break stuff. Look at this. Because this is a lot easier just because of the handle. Yeah. But you start with your better hand. So your right hand or left handed? Right hand. Right hand. Okay, so you start that in the center. Mm. The left one just goes above it, grabs it. And what I like to do is go here and throw it up. Okay. A lot of guys, they lift it up and do like this. And that, that's all on the bicep. Yeah. So hold it right here, swing it up. Just like you did, that's probably why bag over bar is so great for you. <laughs> yeah. And then same with the log. You want this as close to the ear as possible, just because of the center of gravity. Right. You want it as close to the middle as you can. Same thing, you look up with this, elbow high, and you explode. Got it. Now yeah. I noticed by the time you get it there, your hand shifted a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Because I want as much, you can't hold it like right here. Yeah. Because when you press it, it's just going to go. Right. I move it a little bit. Just to have it more centered, and then I go. All right. And you're not gonna feel this is like I think 28 kilos. Okay. So I was, I was saying I didn't know how much it was. So uh, it's not much of a weight, but I don't think I need this. Right now. Nah, I don't think you're gonna need this. Let's just get the technique down. Yeah. Just get it right, up, right in the middle, and then just do, do it like this, and just go straight up. Yep. Okay. Now I adjust. Yeah, you want to hold the ball hands until you get from here. All the way up. Yeah, then you set it up. Okay, that's easy. But what I want you to do, when you keep it, hold it yep. close to the ear, and I want you to raise the elbow, if you can. So like up like that? Yeah, so you do it like... So I'm almost tilted. Yes, you do it like this. Yeah, that's good. Okay, you can drop it. <clears throat> so, it's okay if you do, if you can lean like this. Yeah. Because it takes like a little bit of weeks but you're centered. Okay. But uh, the worst thing you can do is if you squat like down and you start dropping the elbow, because the weight is that it's not next to you. And that's all it is, just basic physics. So I want you to do it again and focus when you start cleaning it, clean with both arms up to all here. And when you have the balance, you can let go. Okay. You don't even rush this. Yeah. Yeah. Good high up position. That's good. Really good. The jump from the weight you said was uh, what? 24? 28. And this is 81. Four times. It's fine. <laughs> it's for well, three and a half. You right? can't focus on the weight. Okay. This you can't. just got to focus on this, technique. This is heavier than you. Yeah. Well, oh, great. I'm gonna overhead press myself real quick. Now it's the thing, like, because I always get asked, how do you warm up when you're like pulling a truck? Yeah. I pull a truck. Okay. That's pulling a truck. Warm. You like you just start with a lighter truck. <laughs> That's just a really good it. point. All right, okay. now I get it. <laughs> and the thing you want to like do with this because because of the weight. Yeah. You want it as close to your body when you're cleaning it. Real close. So you're not gonna do like any swings or anything like Pull that. It up. You're just like pulling it up here, okay? And you're gonna feel like you see the handle. Yeah. It's more rounded like this. Oh, so, so that double hand grip is super important. Yeah. Right now. And you're gonna like look at the dumbbell and feel it. How you want to do it 
and especially when you're doing the press. I don't know if you're gonna try it. Probably not gonna try it. Yeah, I'm getting that. Yeah. Okay? This guy goes raw. Look, no, no chalk, no waiting. So, just focus Getting it on up. that movement. I'm just, I, if I get it to my shoulder, I'm, it's a great day. Here we go. Yeah. There's no way that's going up. That thing dropped my shoulder all the way into my side and I was like, nah, that's not going up. Well, that's still your body weight. All right. I, Cleaned my body weight up yeah. one arm, so I'll, I'll take it, I guess. Switching to uh, a more reasonable dumbbell for a midget. This is, uh, I'm glad you laughed at that. 56 kilos, which would be a PR for me. It's about 114 pounds. I've done 100 before, so it'd be a 14 pound overhead press, circus dumbbell press PR. But right now we're just gonna work on getting our posterior chain loaded, make sure that we don't have any issues with getting the start of the clean going. You know, again, safety first, ladies and gents. Oh, now, it's, not, it's not. You lift it up from the ground. The issue is, it's so girth, wide. Yeah. It's girthy. I got a girthy dumbbell. Uh -huh. Even the way he said, uh huh, made me feel uncomfortable. That's the point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> strong man. We're here to make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Yep. Closer. Yeah. It's right there! And this goes higher on the shoulder. So it's, so it's more easy. awkward. But you don't want to like go like this. It just goes a little further. So tilt almost down. tilt it more down? Yeah. So it's still close to the ear. You see my forearm? Oh, so it's almost sideways. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I rest on the forearm. And it goes slow down. And I explode. And when you train this, you're gonna get a big bump. Sweet. Before. That's gonna hurt like hell. What but did I tell you guys? Nothing says fitness like being in constant pain and agony all the time. What's it say? Here we go. I gotta channel. Channel my inner however big my ancestors were, which are probably the biggest, so. Did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? Did you? I got three siblings, they're all... Yeah, just stand next to me. Just stand next to me. Smallest guy in his family. Mom and dad, we need to have a talk when I get back. He should, he should press you. <laughs> he could! That's what this <laughs> is! Well, no, a little bit more. The other one was. That one's heavier than me that he just overhead pressed, so it'd be nothing. It wouldn't even be worth it. It wouldn't even be fun to watch. Oh! Woo! Ugh. so awkward. Okay, I'm gonna help you balance it. All right, ready? Drop it right there. Okay, ready? There you go. Yeah! Hey! Woo! When I watch the video, is he holding it? Probably. <laughs> I mean, the press was all you. Oh, this man. is the balance. Yeah, it's really awkward. It, yeah, like, it, it rocks back and forth. But at least with these ones, we have like that one, mm -hmm. where that dig in is so sharp. At least this one's a little bit rounded. <laughs> First time I tried this, it just cut me, and I was like, oh, God. That's, they did that on purpose with this one, because it used to be really sharp. Yeah. But the guy who owns this dumbbell, he like started training again for strongman. Yeah. And he just like, no, nah, I can't do this. I'm too old for this. So now I got a weld, too. <laughs> oh, God. This wasn't even on the, the menu today. <laughs>